Hi guys! So this is the beautiful Mashrabiya bracelet. I hope my Arabic was good. <laughs> um, this design has been designed by Cap5898 on Instagram. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create it. So, first I need to take my picture and show you the catalog picture, catalog card with the steps. We start with the standard six in this color sequence. Color number one, number two, number one, and one, two, and one. So as soon as you have these six loops on your hook in this order, you take your band of the color that will create these loops, these curls on the edge of the bracelet, and you pull it under these two loops. You reattach the band number one, and at the same step, you take this loop and loop it over the tip of your hook. You take it with your fingers and loop it over so it ends up under the hook. Then you close it off. At this point the work is symmetrical. You can see this line. It, it says that the work is divided into two halves. First we work on the left side, then we turn and repeat from the other side. So we do. At this point, the sequence begins. We have six loops on the hook. You take band number one, pull under three. You don't reattach anything. Repeat from the other side, pull under three. You don't reattach anything. So we'll end up with one, two, and one, two red loops on your hook, or pink loops on your hook. These four. When you have these four, you take your third color, the one that creates these crosses in the center of the bracelet. You pull this band under these two loops. You don't reattach anything. So you'll end up with one, two and one, two loops on the hook. These four. We have four loops on the hook. And here in the row number four, we need to take the same band that makes these curls on sides, the same we used in the row number one. And you need to pull it under the one loop on your hook, reattach it and pull the band over the tip of your hook and to create this curl so that the loop ends up under the hook in the end. You repeat the same from the other side and in the same row you also need to cross these two bands in the middle so that they create this cross. So, in the end of this line, of this row, you will, end up, you will end up with six loops on your hook in this color sequence. When you have done this, you take your other color, pull it under these three and repeat from the other side. So, you will end up with four loops on your hook again, these four of the same color. And here, you just repeat making this curl on the first loop so you pull under one reattach it and pull over the tip of your hook and repeat from the other side so you'll end up with six of these color sequence green pink 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 and green and that's actually the beginning of the sequence over here and you continue doing loops so and so until your bracelet is long enough to finish it with the c-clip it's quite easy to finish this with the c-clip what I did was that here when I looped these last curls in the row six I just pulled a band through all loops on my hook and attached the c-clip so let's start this is the standard six with the colors alternating and now in the first row I need to take a 
band that is going to make these curls, which is blue for me. Pull it under two and reattach the band number one. And now also pull this band over the tip of the hook and then close it off so that it creates the curl. Now I turn the hook around and repeat all this. So I take my other glue, pull it under two, reattach the band number one and pull this end of the band over the tip of my hook and reattach the other end. So it created these two loops over here. So that's the row number one. In the row number two, I need to take another color, which is going to be white for me, and pull under three. So I pull it under three. I do not pick up anything. I turn the hook around and repeat. So I take my white pull it on the three and close it off like this. So I have four. I have four loops and now I need to pull one through the two in the center and it is going to be the green for me. So I pull it on the three and I reattach the both in the end and move the white to the side so that the green goes just under the two like here. Now in row number four I need to make a blue curl on each side so I take my blue pull it under one loop reattach it pull this end over the tip of the hook and close it off. So I made a curl now I go to the other side and repeat it. So I take my blue, re attach the white, pull this over and make a curl. So, and when I have done this, I need also to cross the two that are in the center, these two. So I cross them. Now I need to pull one white through these three loops. So I put my finger over here to keep them separated and I pull this one through these three and reattach. No picking up. Repeat from the other side. So I take my white pull under these three and we have done the row number five. Now we have four loops again on the hook and we need to add a curl on the first band. So we do like this, pull it over, then go to the other side and do the same pull it under one, reattach that one, pull the end of the hook of, of the band over the hook and reattach. So we have six on the hook in this color sequence as written in row number seven and that's the end of the real sequence. And then you just continue from where the star begins, where the sequence, sequence begins, it means here, by pulling one white under these three, and so and so, until your bracelet is long enough to attach a C-clip. I would suggest to attach a C-clip when you have just four loops on your hook. Might look better. I did it like that over here. Can see I only had after I made these little curls I pulled a band through it means after 
I think making these curls yes it was where I had the cross so I pulled these two bands over here and I created just four loops and then I pulled just one, one band through and attached the C-clip so that the end looks quite similar to the beginning when you attach it when you put it together these balls ends will fit to each other. So that's it. This is the beautiful Masharabia bracelet and uh, if you make it please don't forget to tag the designer and that is cap5898 and maybe also me to let us see your renditions and if you post this bracelet anywhere in the internet just please don't forget to hashtag the keywords and that is Mashrabia bracelet and cap5898. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.